let's use Ampere's law now to work out what a magnetic field actually is. The first example we'll do is a, the magnetic field due to a wire. But instead of the wire being thin, let's have a thick wire with current kind of say, coming out of the screen towards us. And let's say the current is spread uniformly over the entirety of the wire. Now, what's the magnetic field due to this? Outside the wire, that is. So, what do we do? Step one, draw it. We know we've got a current coming out of the paper, therefore by the right-hand rule the magnetic field must go in this way. It's a symmetrical situation. The wire is symmetrical, so the magnetic field can't be stronger on one side than the other. So at a given radius, it's going to be going around something like that. We know that much without doing any mathematics. OK, now we get to step two, which is pick our line surface, our Ampere's law surface. Um, we're doing a line integral. So let's pick, for example, a circle. What we want when we pick our line is somewhere where it's going to be very easy to calculate the, the magnetic field, because it's all going to be the same. So with a circle, let's call it a radius r, is nice and simple because the magnetic field will be in the same direction as the line elements. And because all parts of this loop are at the same distance from the center, they're all going to have the same magnetic field. We could, if we wish, use some more complicated shape like that. But a nice, simple, symmetrical shape is going to make the maths much easier. OK, so we've done stage two. Pick our loop. And then we get to stage three. Use Ampere's law. Ampere's law tells us that the line integral around our loop of the magnetic field dot the line element dl equals mu naught times the sum of the currents inside, which in this case is just the current going down the thick wire i. So the magnetic field and the line elements, the line elements are also worked out using the right hand rule, so they go clockwise, it's in the same direction are the same direction, so the dot product of the curls theta is going to be just 1. So this surface integral, magnetic field just dl, is just the magnetic magnitude of the magnetic field times the length all the way around. When you add up all the dls, that gives you the size of a circle, which is just the circumference 2 pi r equals mu, I'm sure we mu naught i. So the strength of the magnetic field is just mu naught i over 2 pi r. Very easy. And this gives us that as r increases, the magnetic field goes down because our loop is bigger. Um, this would be very hard to calculate using uh, bio savar law because you might have to break the charge over the thick wire into the bit of a charge in the middle, the bit of charge from over here, the bit of charge from over there. You might have to integrate over a whole a bunch of different charges. Whereas what this turns out is it makes no difference. As long as it's symmetrical, so the assumptions we've made when drawing it are right, so we have all the charge in the middle or all the charge around the edge or rings of charge or something like that, as long as it's all symmetrical, we'll get exactly the same answer.